What's good everybody? Welcome to Life on Beagle Road. Today we're gonna make something awesome because, well, we're the self-proclaimed project, king and queen. Well, you're not the queen. Your mom's the queen. You're like the pauper. The pauper? Pauper. What's a pauper? Well, you're gonna have to look that one up. The peasant? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe more like the jester. You're like the court jester. Well, today, we are going to make a greenhouse. We've been talking about it for quite a long time. We don't have one on the property. We've done some makeshift things in the past, but they didn't really pan out. So we're gonna actually build one that, um, yeah, works. should be a whole lot better. Works. works. Yeah, something that works. Robbie and I are gonna start this project. Courtney was gonna work with us, but you know, she never really does work with us. Uh, maybe on a different day of this project. So today will be day one and we'll start working on the frames. I'm gonna build it similar to the way we did the chicken tractor, only no half laps. We are not doing half laps. I, I don't like half laps anymore after that. Nope, not gonna do it. So our plan here is that I'll cut all the pieces to length and then Robbie is going to put some pocket holes in so that way we can uh, secure it all very, very quickly. And I think that's probably the most efficient way we can do this project, right? Yeah. Yeah. I kind of want to use the saw. I kind of don't want you to use the saw. I kind of don't want you to do that at all. But nice try. Pretty sure I'm going to cut faster than you would. And you're going to drill faster than I would. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Guess we'll see. All right, let's get to it. Over here we have all of our two by four by eights, uh, eight feet long. And I have to cut them in half. But if I cut them exactly at four feet, then one side's gonna be longer than the other by like a 16th of an inch because of my saw blade. So what I'm gonna do is actually cut them at 47 and a half inches. That way every single piece I cut will be exactly the same. I put up a stop block over on my saw. So I'm gonna get started cutting on those. So we've cut all of our eight foot pieces in half, roughly, like I said, 47 and a half versus 48. That way we had some wiggle room. And then we put the pocket holes in. So this is all done and we are ready to start assembling our walls. Crazy. Usually when I have a project, it's just me. Having Robbie in here has made this go, well, twice as fast, I guess you could say. I did have to finish up like the last five of them because he was starting to get a little tired of drilling holes. I don't blame him, it's a lot of holes. That said, it still went a whole lot faster. I'm trying to figure out if we should attach these outside or try to do it somehow in here. The greenhouse is actually 16 feet long uh, and eight feet wide. So I've got to figure out how to either get a 16 foot piece in here and do all of our assembly in here, or I've gotta take it outside and figure out how we're gonna do that assembly outside, because I, I need a flat surface where we're gonna attach them. So I'm gonna figure that out, and then we'll get to the assembly. Okay, we're gonna do it outside, because that's probably gonna be our easiest way to do this. It's kinda loud, it's rush hour. Highway's over there. So, play some music. One of these pieces is bowed, I guess in this one. So we're gonna take the bow out of it by pushing it together. And that'll actually help me to get the screws in. All 
All right, well, we've got one wall down. Look at that. Nice, big, long 16 foot wall. All right, Robbie, we gotta carry this and get it out of our way. Got it? Robbie, what'd you do? I knocked the screws over. Huh? I knocked the screws over. Knocked the screws over. No rocks in there, right? No. Or leaves. Turkey. All right, the 216s are done. We're running out of daylight, so we're gonna get the eight footer done. Um, and then that's the back wall. And then the front wall, we'll have to come back out and do tomorrow, because I still need more space. I have a lot going on in the shop, so I don't have a lot of work room in there. So we'll get the back wall up, do the front wall tomorrow, and then get them all together in their shape. Okay, let's get going. All right, we've got three of our four walls done. We still have to do the front wall. So we will wake up, go to bed, and start again tomorrow. Okay, it is the next day. And uh, I actually gave Robbie something else to do today. He's gonna be a little disappointed that I didn't let him just drop on in. But we are gonna get that front wall done today, get the frame out where it belongs, all hooked up. That should wrap up this video. Then we'll start working on the roof. And when the plastic gets here, because it hasn't been delivered yet, we'll start getting the plastic on. This is gonna be awesome. Since this is the front panel, I can't build it just like I did the back panel. This one here, it's gonna have the doorway in it. So we're gonna mark out where the doorway goes, put the two doorway posts in, and then connect them. So it's just a tad different. Okay, the door frame is done. Now it's time to, I guess, put the frame together. Although part of me thinks that now's a good time to build the door. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to go in and out, in and out. I think I'll do that first. Door's done. Now it's time to put this sucker together. Well, I've got the entire structure all up and ready to go. I now need to decide if I'm going to use these poles here for the roof or if I'm going to go with some of the hog panel. Now, the hog panel would have to be attached a little higher and the poles would need bent a little bit differently than this one here. This is actually an old scrap pole from when I built the chicken tractor, but I think we're good. Tune in next time. We'll get this roof done. Hopefully the plastic will be on its way and we'll get that installed. Have a great day, folks.